As home embroiderers, we like to be able to see a design in actual thread colors before stitching it. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll learn about coloring designs. I've opened the fancy shell design from the Nature folder that's in the included Hatch Designs folder. The Design Colors toolbar is at the bottom of the screen, and we can see that it has five colors. And we know that there are no unused colors because a used color has this little blue tag in the upper right hand corner. To see where each color is used in the design, I'll click and hold on a color swatch. Now you want to make sure nothing else is selected. So I'll just click and hold and we can see where each color is used in the design. If I hover over a thread, you can see that this one is color number 1164 Madeira Classic 40. This one's 1065. So all of these colors are Madeira colors. Now the Design Colors toolbar only shows us the unique colors used in the design and not the order they're used. Instead, the order here is set by when they were added to the design. To see the thread color stitching order, pop open the Design Information Docker. This docker displays extra details about the current design. If I click on the Thread Colors tab, we can see the color sequence down here at the bottom. This is the order of the colors as the design is sewn. Notice that color number 5, which is sequenced at number 2 and number 5, is repeated. All the other colors are used one time. Notice that the first color is color number 3, and that color number 3 is this color number 3 here. We often color designs either to suit a particular color scheme or because we use a different thread brand than the designer listed. So this technique works whether you're using a machine file or an object file. This is an EMB file, so it is an object file. When assigning colors, I like to have my thread stocker open. So we'll just click it here. And I also like to have it open all the way to see all the details. So we'll do that. And I'm going to press 1 on my keyboard so that we can get our shell centered. And I want you to notice that this chart is isochord. Remember we said our colors were Madeira. So we need to change our thread chart so that it matches. So I'll click on Select Thread Charts. I'm going to click isochord and I'll put it away. Then I'll scroll down and I'll find Madeira 40. There's Madeira Classic 40. Select that and put it over there. We have a lot of thread charts in here too, so you should be able to find your thread brand in here. Now here's another cool thing. Let's suppose that you do use Isochord, but you also use Madeira and maybe use Sulky. You could have all three of them added to this list, and that way when you map a new design, it's going to match it to the closest thread, and it might not all be one brand. So I'll click OK, and now my color list is Madeira. This way, if I add any new colors or I change any colors, it's still going to stick with Madeira thread. Let's change the color of the orange swatch on the Design Colors toolbar. So I'll select it, then I'll find a new color, and I'll just single click it. Notice that now we've changed that orange, both of them, to this blue color. But suppose that we only wanted to change this color, this first blue we'll need to add a new color swatch to our list. So to add a new color swatch, I'll just double click on this light blue, and then to select it, I will click on the bucket tool, and I'm just going to pour it on that blue area. And now I have two colors of blue, which we can see in our color list over here. So to change a color, you select it and single click. To add a new color, you select a color here, and double click. Now we also have an eyedropper tool. And what the eyedropper tool does is it makes the current color, which is this swatch here, the active color. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper and I can either click on a color swatch or I can click somewhere on my design. And whatever I click on, the eyedropper tool kind of sucks up that color and it automatically drops it into this current color well. Now sometimes that's useful because sometimes you'll have a design where there might be three shades of tan 
and you're not sure which color is which and you want to reuse a certain color so you can go in here and, and suck up that color and then just hover over it and you'll see what thread color it is. So there's one more thing I'd like to show you before we wrap this video. This design has been colored for Madeira, but suppose you have another brand. Wouldn't it be nice to have the design mapped to your thread colors? Well, we can do that. On the Thread Stalker, we're going to select a thread chart. We'll get rid of Madeira, and we'll pick our other threads. So sometimes I use Hemingworth. So we'll just scroll down here to Hemingworth, select that, add it, and click OK. Now here's my Hemingworth color list, but down here, these are still Madeira colors. So to get them to be Hemingworth, I'm going to click on this tool, Match All Design Colors. And now if I hover over one of these color swatches, I'll see that these are all Hemingworth colors. Now keep in mind, how close that match will be will depend on the number of thread colors in the lines and what the range is because some thread lines are more limited in colors and there, there's no master system for having exact colors line to line to line. So this design, it probably won't be a big deal, but if you have a design where tight blends are important, you might have to do some tweaking to get a good result. There's still more tools for working with colors. For example, suppose we duplicate the seashell and now we have multiple colors. Well, we have an option for optimizing colors, and we have another video on that. So see the video called Optimize Colors for ways you can work with that situation.